the party is considering legal action against the group. People are calling me. They want to come here and fair us the deaths and actually take them to court for forging their signatures. But of course, being party members and they were the equal party members, uh, we are trying to say we can reconcile those whom they forged their signatures and those who forged their signatures without necessarily going to court. Retired Major Edward Rangaranga, who was sacked as party chairman, led a group of party supporters on 4th April to petition Otunu to resign and call a delegates conference to elect a new administration. Otunu has since kept a low profile and declined to respond to the petition. Relatedly, the party's coordinator for human rights, Michael Osinde Olach, has castigated government for pushing the public order management bill instead of health care management bill that is much needed by the public. According to Osinde, government was boasting of increased health facilities like health centers in the country, yet they are children of health services. He also said that the lack of proper medical information database was costing the country since the current method of taking records deprives the hospitals of following up on diseases and patients' history. This government does not rely on statistics. That's why not if this is a problem in northern Uganda. They don't know when it started. They cannot trace how it began because the records are not there. Everybody is going back with the exercise book. <laughs> Everybody is going back with the book at home. Now the hospital just says it for Northern Uganda, uh, take Panadol. For Western, take PPF. Uh, for Bulambuli there, you can take aspirin. You cannot be the country or the government like that. You need statistics. Government is first striking the enactment of the public order management bill in the wake of increasing opposition protests here. Jordan Mubangizi, NBS Television.